Today, I'll be walking you through the Magic Morph within Canva Pro. I just got Canva Pro. I only have it for three months, so my free content is still gonna be there for free users, every user, so don't fret. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna go into my apps and I am going to pull up Magic Morph. And it's this little M that has this little weird thing going on with it. So in Magic Morph, you can do a few different things. So you can select an element in your design. Now, a lot of elements do not work in here. So you can't just pull up a random element and use it. It is very good for text. So if you use AI that has text in it, you know, the words don't always come out right. Um, you can make a mask, which if you're a free user, you probably still want to use that but it's a good way to get text and you can also do shapes. So what we're going to do here, because I think the best benefit for this would be uh, um, text. So when you get it, you just hit the text right here. It says morph, but you're going to go in here and change and put whatever you want in here. We'll just do my name. Hi everybody. I am Michelle. If you have not noticed, and then what you can do is you can go from some of these examples, which I was like playing around with the jewels because I'm a girl and I like jewels. Or you can actually put something in here. Now, it doesn't do the greatest thing, so I kind of stick with these right here while I've been playing with it just because these do wind up turning out pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with jewels. I'm going to hit the magic morph button and we'll see what comes up. Oh, wait a minute. Look, I have one letter highlighted. Would it just do one letter? And then, no, it didn't do just one letter. Okay, let's see. So uh, now what we can do is look and see what kind of options it gave us. We can get something cool. I kind of think I'm going to like this one here because I'm a girl and I like kind of jewelry looking things. So I like that one. And then we get, got us a purple option here. Let's take out the OG over here and get rid of that for the moment. And a look at the options that it was given to us. And what was the last one? Something kind of yellowy. Let's move these up here and see what we got. And you can also, you can go, go back and it'll have it here. So if you want to stick on like the jewel theme and you want to use that as a starting point, you can say, let's pick some colors. Let's pick um, in blue and um, what's another color? Red. Just, just pick in, and you can just go and it'll make new results. And I will skip over this because it takes a hot minute. And we can see what we got here. Sometimes they're hit or miss. That one definitely is a miss. Um, let's see what this one looks like. This one's... Yeah, I don't like the... These are a mess. Um, but let's go in and go back and let's try a shape. So you can go in here and go into elements and grab a shape and do it and so we're gonna go in here and just grab like you can go in elements and i'll just go into recently used because i tried like this i tried this um silhouette worked so i tried this one as you saw let's see if we try another silhouette so let's pull up a, another silhouette silhouette woman that'll work i don't so let's grab a silhouette because it says it wants to be simple so uh, let's see let's do her and see what we can come with. Let's flip it. Oops, let's horizontal, please. And let's go back into our apps, pull up the magic morph. Oh, okay, it took it. So if it doesn't take it, you'll get a sign here. So, and I'll grab something real quick to show you. So we'll grab this dog. Maybe if you turn it into a silhouette and re upload it back into Canva, maybe you could. Um, I have not tried that yet. So the other thing I'm going to do now is go in back into my apps, pull the magic morph up and you'll get this right here. Magic morph currently does some, doesn't support this element. Please try a text shape or simple graphic. So it doesn't do this. It's too complex for it. So 
like I said, maybe if you turn it into a silhouette and then re-upload it and then try it that way, maybe it'll work. I'm not sure. Something to experiment on. So we're just going to do simply here. And I am going to, instead of typing stuff in, I'm just going to use what they had. I really like the stuff that came out with this wood because I like, I like that. This one needs the background removed a little bit. You might have to go back in there to a background remover and remove some more background for that. That's kind of cool. Let's see what we got here. Let's put these on another page. Do, uh, let's add a page. Hold on. So we can see these better. We got this. This one where the background didn't look like it was removed pretty well. We got this. These are pretty cool, I think. The wood carvings. So it's just stuff like that that you can like jazz up like a boring item or something like that. Um, and then let's grab her again and say you want to, you don't, you need a gradient. So let's go back and go in here and take the wood out and say you want um, pink, purple, and green, gradient. And let's magic morph that and see if we can get gradient. So as you can see here, if you want a cool gradient added to your to an element, you can use magic morph to do that. Now is it going to be the gradient you kind of want? I don't know, but it is just another option to put gradient into an element. If you like, we're going to have to. Maybe I'll experiment and get back to you and see if we can take one, remove the color. Hold on. We'll pause this video here. It won't be a pause for you, but it'll be a pause for me. And I am going to try that. I am going to take that dog photo. I'm going to turn it into a silhouette, re-upload it, and see if we can uh, use it in here. Be right back. All right, now we're going to test it out. So what I did was turn... I'll show you up. I took this dog, went into dual tone, turned him into a solid black silhouette, which is right here. So he turned into this. I downloaded it, re-uploaded it, and put it in the background remover. So if we change the background here, it should be a background removed. Yes. So we'll go back to white. And what I'm going to do now is see if we can go in here and... Nope, it still won't do it. Well, it was worth a try, y'all. So that's not an option we can do. But if you need to know how to make a silhouette, just take this. Go into Edit Photo. Go into Dual Tone. Go to Custom. You already have one uh, black box. We were going to go and just turn the other one black. And there you go. You have a silhouette. That's how you make a real fast and easy silhouette. Now, if you saw the photos I had in the beginning, and I also used Ease Reflection. And if you want to use shadows or anything on this, I'm going to just use the ones I had earlier. Images, let's see. Get this out of the way. I don't want that. Um, you're going to just take one. We'll take this one here because this one was the one I used. That one's kind of cool. And go into Edit Photo. You're going to download it, edit the photo, and then just remove the background. And then what you can do is you can go and if you want to, you can use shadows or whatever you want to do in that. So you can just put a drop shadow on it and move that all the way. I'm still not in love with the new shadow editor. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I miss the old one really terribly. And size of the shadow. I don't want the intensity. I want more blur. I want the distance closer so you can make a cool shadow. And if you're like me, I'm going to take some all this extra, extra off. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into another app. I'm going to go into, hold on, let's hit apps. I'm going into, oh, hold on, let's see, your apps. Let's see what, easy reflection. 
So I'm going to create a reflect or a reflection. I am going to take the opacity down some and the offset down two, which makes it more faded right here at the bottom. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to add it to the design. And then I'm going to bring it and size it to match. So we're just going to go and size it to match and like so. Give that a little bit of reflection. I'm going to take that down so I can get some of that extra off of there. And another thing I did, let's make this, get this out of the way here now that I'm done with that. And then what you can do also after you get that the way you want to. Oh, that first one needs to go down just a smidge. There we go. And then I like to do, I'm going to go into position. I am going to uh, grab my solid one. I am going to duplicate that. And then I am going to hit my control key and bump it over. Well, maybe I'm going to grab that. And I am going to hit my control key. I'm going to bump it over to and down. And then I'm going to duplicate it. I am going to lay it up on that last one. I am going to click out, click back in. One, two, one, two on the bump. And I kind of do that a little bit trying to make them 3D. And then I'll take the very back one and I'll start to blur it. So I'll go into edit photo and I'll put some blur on there. Whole image and then... You want that about, we'll do 33, sounds good. And we'll go back and hit the one before. And I'll take that, you, the top one you don't want any blur to. So I'll hit this. We're just live action and design in here for, who's, for whoever's still here. So I was at 33. I don't want to go as intense on the next one. So I'm just going to go. Maybe half of that, about 15, and go back. And that should give you that like smooth, more looking edge right there to make it look 3D. And that helps out a little bit too. And if it looks a little too harsh, you can also work on the transparency. So you can go into position here with your last one and maybe turn the transparency down a little bit on it to kind of. And just mess with the transparencies a little bit to kind of give it that more like smooth looking edge on the side right there to make it look 3D. And that's my experiment with the Magic Morph. I only have this for a couple months, uh, three months. So if you have any questions about Pro or have any suggestions on stuff that I should play around with, please leave them in the comments. I thank you guys for stopping by. I hope I answered a question or showed you a new trick. I love you and I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.